Have you ever wondered how transformers really work? Welcome to Core Electrical Engineering. From the towering giants that dot our landscapes to the compact devices nestled in our appliances, transformers are integral to our electrical systems. Yet, despite their ubiquity, the inner workings of these powerhouses often remain shrouded in mystery, a complex puzzle to the uninitiated. They hum quietly, converting energy, powering our lives, all while keeping their secrets. But today, we're going to change that. It's time to unravel the secrets of these electrical powerhouses. In simple terms, a transformer is an electrical device. But let's not stop there, let's delve a bit deeper. You see, a transformer is more than just a device. It's a marvel of engineering that plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. It's designed to perform one main function, and that is to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another. But, how does it do this? Well, it's all about a process called electromagnetic induction, a principle that allows it to operate without any physical contact between the circuits. This not only makes it more efficient, but also safer. Now, one of the most fascinating things about transformers is that they can manipulate voltage levels. They can crank it up or tone it down, and that's why you often hear the term step up and step down transformers. They can either increase or decrease the voltage levels, hence the name step up and step down transformers. At the heart of every transformer are two key components. Let's dive into these vital parts that make transformers tick. First up, we have the primary and secondary windings. Imagine these as two separate coiled wires. The primary winding is where the incoming electricity or input voltage enters the transformer. This coil of wire is usually connected to a power source, say your local power grid. Now as this electrical current flows through the primary winding, it creates a magnetic field around the coil. This magnetic field is ever-changing, fluctuating in strength and direction with the alternating current of the electricity. So, where does this magnetic field go? This is where the second key component comes into play, the iron core. The iron core is not just a hunk of metal sitting there idly. It plays a critical, it plays a critical role in the transformer's operation. This iron core acts as a conduit for the magnetic field guiding it from the primary winding to the secondary winding. Speaking of which, let's talk about the secondary winding. This is the coil of wire that takes the energy from the magnetic field and transforms it into electrical energy again. But here's the kicker. The windings are not directly connected. They are linked magnetically through the core. This is why transformers are sometimes referred to as magnetic couplers. The number of turns in each coil is really important. It determines the voltage transformation ratio, more turns on the secondary winding compared to the primary winding will step up the voltage, while fewer turns will step it down. It's a beautiful dance of electricity and magnetism, all happening within the confines of a seemingly simple device. But don't let its simplicity fool you. The transformer is a work of engineering art, a testament to human ingenuity. And there you have it. The primary and secondary windings with their magnetic dance and the iron core, guiding this dance, are the core components of every transformer. These components work together to transfer energy efficiently between circuits. So, how does energy transfer happen in a transformer? Well, let's take a deep dive into it. A transformer works on the principle of electromagnetic induction, a term you might remember from your high school physics classes. Electromagnetic induction is the process by which a change in the magnetic field within a coil of wire induces a voltage in the wire. Now how does this principle apply to transformers? Picture two coils of wire, the primary and the secondary, wrapped around a common iron core. The primary winding is connected to an alternating current power source. As the alternating current flows through the primary winding, it creates a magnetic field around the coil. This magnetic field is not static, it changes as the current changes, following the sinusoidal form of the alternating current. Now here's where the magic happens. The changing magnetic field created by the primary winding cuts across the secondary winding, which is also wrapped around the same iron core. This change in magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding. This is the principle of electromagnetic induction in action. But wait, there's more. The amount of voltage induced in the secondary winding is directly related to the number of turns in the primary and secondary windings. If the secondary winding has more turns than the primary, the output voltage is stepped up. If it has fewer turns, the output voltage is stepped down. This is how transformers increase and decrease voltage levels in electric power systems. So, what's the role of the iron core, you might ask? 
The iron core serves to concentrate the magnetic field created by the primary winding and guide it through the secondary winding. This ensures that most of the magnetic field from the primary winding cuts across the secondary winding, making the process efficient. In short, transformers work by changing magnetic fields and inducing voltages. Transformers are not just about moving energy around. They are the unsung heroes of our modern world, quietly humming away in our basements, on our streets and in our factories. These remarkable devices are the heartbeat of our power grid, making it possible for electricity to travel from power plants to your living room, your office, or the assembly line of a car factory. Think about it. Without transformers, your morning coffee would be a lot less convenient. There would be no electric kettle to boil water, no refrigerator to keep your milk fresh, and certainly no toaster to brown your bread. Transformers, in their various forms and sizes, make all this possible by stepping up and stepping down voltages to suit our needs. In the grand scheme of things, transformers are the gatekeepers of electricity. They ensure that power is distributed efficiently and safely, minimizing losses and maximizing utility. Power stations generate electricity at very high voltages. But these voltages are far too dangerous and impractical for home or office use. That's where transformers come in, reducing these high voltages to a safer level for us to use. Imagine the sprawling metropolis of New York City or the industrious heartland of Detroit. These power hubs would be nothing more than dark, silent ghosts of their former selves without transformers. So let's take a moment to appreciate these silent workhorses of our modern age. Without transformers, the world as we know it would grind to a halt. Transformers, then, are more than meets the eye. They are an integral cog in the wheel of modern life, silently and efficiently doing their job. From the basic principles of electromagnetic induction to the intricate design of their core components, Transformers showcase an incredible feat of engineering. They are essentially the chameleons of the electrical world, adept at changing one form of electrical energy into another. They are the unsung heroes that facilitate the flow of electricity from power plants to our homes, offices and industries. We've delved into the heart of a transformer, dissected its working and understood its power. It's clear that without these ingenious devices, our world would be a very different place. So next time you switch on a light or charge your phone, spare a thought for the transformer that made it possible. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a marvel that powers our lives every single day. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to our channel.